what you're going to learn in this tutorial is how to set up the tune shading that you see here as well as how to set up this black outline that you see going around the character mesh the nodes used to make this happen are not particularly complicated this is a i think a fairly easy way to set this up as well as to remember how to do this uh, i'm going to take you through step by step how to go through all the settings uh, as i go through the tutorial i'm not only on it going to explain what i'm doing i'm going to try to explain why i'm doing what i'm doing so thanks for watching this tutorial and i hope you enjoy it If you like the step-by-step -step fashion that these tutorials are made in, please give this uh, video a like. Uh, that'll make the YouTube robots happy. Also, if you would like to support the channel more, uh, please consider supporting me on Patreon. If you look to the upper right, you should see a button where you can get to that. Thank you. Hi, this is Ali Arango of Little Guy CGI. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic Tune shader in Blender 2.81. So let's get started. Okay, when you look to the near the top of the screen, what you'll see is these different tabs. What you want to do is select the shading tab. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm then going to hold shift as well as the middle mouse button to pan the view. I'll hold control as well as the middle mouse button to do a uh, smooth zoom in. Uh, what you see on the screen is a box modeled male head that I made from a while ago that currently has no materials on it or shaders on it. In simplest terms, uh, materials or shaders are basically the, the color that we're going to put on this current character mesh. Okay, so what we're going to do is select the mesh and uh, we can select new here to add a material or we can go to the right to uh, this second button up from the bottom to add a material. I'm going to left click here and then I'm going to select new. Okay, for setting up this tune shader, we're going to select our printable shader. We don't need it for this, so we're going to press X to delete the printable shader. We're then going to go to add uh, shader and then we're going to go to this diffuse BSDF. So we'll bring that in i'll temporarily connect that to here okay uh there's a lot of uh tutorials out showing how to set up tune shaders this is a very basic uh tune shader hopefully you'll be able to keep this in your head and remember this i've we're basically what we're doing is we're setting up the colors of the uh tune shader. We're going to set up the black outline later on. Uh, I like to remember things by acronyms. I remember the acronym for this by Star Commander Missions. So we need three nodes to bring in. So we're going to go to add. We're looking for the uh, there we go. The uh, S part. So my Star Commander Mission, so shader to RGB, we need this. The uh, commander to see of that. Again, I'm talking about an acronym. I'll just keep in my own head. We're going to go to add. And uh, uh, this is going to be the color ramp. And then for this, we need uh, this mix shader here. So star, commander, mission. Okay, with these nodes here, we're just going to put these nodes right in line um, in this path here. And they'll automatically hook themselves up. Okay, so what we want to do with this is we want these boxes, I'll call them, to be of the color ramp to be towards the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this color here be like your standard, what you would say, like flesh colored, right? What we're going to do is we're going to select 
this box here, select this black bar here, go to the eyedropper, select that color. Then what we're going to do is take the, uh, this slider here just to make this darker. We're going to do a similar thing with this house here. Take the eyedropper, select that color. Move that up. Where we see this, uh, where we see this uh, linear here, what we want to do is select this and change this to constant. Okay, and just with this very basic setup, you've you've got your basic uh, tune shade shader look there. I'm going to move adjust this box here. I'll make this brighter. To add in a little more detail to this uh, tune shader, what we can do is we can, we're going to uh, select, so I'm holding shift, I selected uh, the shader to RGB as well as this color ramp. Now what I'm gonna do is hold shift D, so I duplicated those, right? Now I'm gonna go to add shader and then I want this glossy shader, so I'm just going to put this here. Okay, so I'm just going to take this glossy shader, and then I'm going to connect this color to the shader here. And then with this, you can see we have uh, just kind of a different look to the shader. What we can do is we can adjust the houses to the uh, houses here to adjust the look of the effect from this uh, glossy shader. We can also we'll select the darker color. We'll make that brighter. Okay, we have these. Uh, node set up to work with the face. We don't have anything on the hair. So what we can do is we'll select the hair. When we select the hair, we can see that there's no material here. We'll select new. We'll select back on the face. We'll, with this material here, which is our main uh, you know, tune set up here, we're going to go to this arrow to the right. Left click here. We'll select copy the material. We'll select back on the uh, the hair, and then we'll select paste material. So now we have this on the, uh, the hair. However, because we copied the material from the face and then pasted to the hair, normally if we just took that material and just like, when I say that, I mean the material that was on the face and put that to the hair, if we wanted to adjust the color of the hair, everything would change. Since we copied the material and then pasted it, we can uh, change the, the color of the hair. So we'll select this. Bring this down. As a matter of fact, for now, we'll select this, press X. Uh, we'll select this here. We'll change that to like a grayish color. Then we'll hold shift, press D, and then we'll just reconnect here. Let's make this, let's, you know, let's make this a brownish color. Let's select this house, select the eyedropper, copy the color from the first house and then make this darker and for here we'll select that color from there click this other house select the other color darker and 
There we go. Well, left click on nothingness to deselect. Okay, I'm gonna select the hair. So we have this material here. We're gonna double click here and name this hair. So we'll select uh, a character mesh. We have these eyebrows that are connected to the character. We're gonna go to the upper left, go to, uh, it's changing the face because there's a shape key on here. We'll go to uh, the upper left. We can see we have vertex select, edge select, well as face select. We'll go to face select. We'll hover over these eyebrows. So I pressed L while hovering over the eyebrow. That allows you to select this entire piece, even though we're in the edit mode. I'm selecting here. I'll press L. And then what I'm going to do for here is I'm going to select uh, the plus button to the right, select new. And then I'm going to select this hair. Uh, to replace that second material. So I didn't do the top because I didn't want the whole face to, to change. That's why I made this new material. So now what we can do is select select for the eyebrow. So I'll left click on nothingness, then go back to object mode. So now we have that set up. Okay, I'm gonna zoom back. And what we're gonna do is set up the outline now uh, for the head. So uh, with the face selected, we're going to go to the right, select the plus button. We're going to select new. Okay, we're not going to need the printable shader, so we'll select this. Press X to delete that. The way the acronym that I remember to, for the shaders for this is GRIT, which stands for GRT, which is Geometry, RGB, and Transparent Shader. So we're going to select uh, we're going to go to add we're going to go to input we're going to select uh geometry we're going to go to add input rgb and then add the uh yeah, transparent bsdf Okay, we need one other node, so we're gonna to go to Add, Shader, and then we need a Mix Shader. The way this is gonna work, the geometry, we're gonna come from uh, back facing. It's gonna to go to the Factor, the uh, RGB, we're gonna take the color and make this very dark color, almost uh, all the way black. This is gonna to go to the first shader. Then we're going to take the transparent shader and this is going to the second shader. And then this is going to go to the, from uh, mix shader shader to the uh, material output. Okay, to make this work, we need to go to the, looks like the wrench to the side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a uh, solidify modifier. So we're going to left click to select that. Okay, so here's the solidify modifier. When you come in, look to the uh, settings of the solidify modifier to the right. Take away the first setting you see, which is this fill rim. And then you want to put a check mark next to flip normals, even thickness, as well as high quality normals. Okay, once you have this set up, what you want to do is you want to look to this material offset. When I go to the material tab, see we have the first material, the second material, the third material is this black outline. So this is the third material. So what we're going to do is go to our solidify modifier, and then we're going to take this to three, this uh, material index offset, right? So we're working, we want the third material to be the black outline, so we took the material index offset, off, yeah, offset to the third material, right? So uh, now this is very important. We're gonna go back to the uh, material tab, and then uh, here in the material tab, we're gonna look to this blend mode, okay? So blend mode, and we're gonna change this from opaque to alpha clip. 
And then when we do uh, this, things are set up right for us. We're gonna go back to the wrench and then we're gonna take this thickness up probably to 0 0.4. Now with this uh, mesh, there's some issues here with uh, the mesh uh, working with the solidify modifier. So if you have this, what you can do is just unclick this high quality normals as well as even thickness. And then uh, you should be fine as far as your mesh. I want to left click to deselect and I'm just taking a look. Okay, the hair is a separate object. So we want the hair to have a black outline as well. So what we're going to do is we'll left click on the hair. We'll go to our modifier. We'll add a solidify modifier. Here's a solidify modifier. We'll take away the check mark next to fill rim. We'll put check marks next to the first three options on the right, which is flip normals, even thickness, as well as high quality normals. Uh, and then with that set up, we'll take the thickness up to 0 0.04. So now the uh, modifier is set up. Now we need to set up the material. So we're gonna go to the material. Here's the material that we have on. We're gonna select this plus to the right. We're gonna select uh, new material. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to the face. We clicked on the face so we could have access to this outline material here. With this, the face selected and this material selected here, we're gonna go to the right, we're gonna select copy material. So we're gonna go to back to our hair. Here's the second material here. We're gonna go to the right and we're gonna select paste material. So now we have that material on here, right? So this is the first material. This is the second material. Because this is the second material, we need to go to our solidify modifier, go to the material index, and then set this to the second material. Okay, now you can see that hair has a black outline around it as well. Okay, I'm gonna go to the upper left, select the layout, and then I'll select the uh, viewport shading mode. So now we have our tune shader set up. I'll select the uh, show overlays button. Okay, yeah, I think it looks good. Okay, guys, that's it for the tutorial. For all of those of you out there who like the videos on this channel and reshare them, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who are new to this channel, if you like the videos on this channel, you would like to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing.